get ready. What do you mean? Well, put off those dirty pajamas. I'll just leave it at that. And instead, put on, verse 14, rather, clothe yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ, and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the sinful nature. There's no more time. There's no more time. That time has passed. Oh, maybe even five years ago, we lived in a world that was maybe more forgiving of such, but not now. Not now, not in this hour, this the last hour. I want to close by sharing with you just a couple final thoughts with respect to knowing that this is the last hour. And perhaps I could just preface it by telling you that I am convinced beyond any doubt, not reasonable doubt. I have absolutely no doubt that this is the last hour. And when I say that, I mean that. And the Lord knows my heart. This is it. This is it. This is how it ends. This is the way it ends. This is when it ends. This is the last hour, period. I have no question in my, my heart or my mind about that whatsoever. So what I want to do first is pose a question and kindly ask, Again, just think this through, please. Why would the God of the Word have so much written of this in the Word of God, if it weren't so? Why would well nigh one third of the Bible be prophecy, were it not that God wanted us to know? this. Wouldn't it stand to reason that the reason we have this in our Bibles, and one third of our Bibles as prophecy, could, could it be, and I, I hope this doesn't come off wrong. If it does, I, did, I don't mean for it to be. But could it be that God wants us to know that He's coming to take us out of this world. You know, Thursday night we uh, partook together of communion. And yeah, I, I, it, I had never seen this before. I just want to share it with you lastly. It, and it just hit me as I'm preparing Thursday for the Ezekiel teaching and then communion. <laughs> I, I, I never saw how that Jesus at the Last Supper had actually paralleled that tenth plague in Egypt. So the Israelites were to take the blood of a lamb that had been inspected for four days which was the number of days that Jesus was on trial, found to be without guilt. The lamb inspected for four days to be found without spot or wrinkle. They were to do three things, the Israelites. Number one, they were to take the blood of that lamb, put it on the doorpost of their house, top, base at the bottom, left, right, shape of a cross, foreshadow the cross so that the angel of death would pass over them. There's another thing they, they, they were to do. They were to eat the body of the lamb in haste. And the bread, no leaven, no time. Why? Because here's the third thing. Um, you're going to get the blood to be safe and saved. And then you're going to eat the, the lamb, the body, 
You're going to partake of the, of the lamb, the body, and then you're going to get ready because I'm taking you out quickly. If you go back into that narrative in Exodus of that plague, the tenth plague, and you read the details, what you're going to find there is urgency, urgency, urgency. Here's what's coming. But here's what you need to do. And here's what you need to know, because I'm going to take you out, and I'm going to do it very fast. So get the blood on the doorposts, eat the lamb. You've got the Lamb of God, the blood of the Lamb of God. You're saved. Now I'm I'm getting you out. You ready to go? (laughs) I was, I, I was ready to go after plague number two. You want to know why? the frogs. I take that very personally. After play, and I still had eight to go. If I'm an Israelite, I'm re- can we go now? No, we have to wait. The tenth. You're going to take us out? Yeah. Are you ready to go? I was ready to go a long time ago. I'm taking you out of the Egypt of this world. And like we talked about last week in the prophecy update, he had to get the Egypt out of them before he could get them out of Egypt. And he's doing that with us, isn't he? So he's saying to us, listen, please, listen, I I beseech you, listen to me. This is the last hour. This is the last plague. It's, It's all going down now. I'm going to get you out. And I need you to know this, and here's what I need you to do about this. Let's go. 